and I think that they look like IKEA bags. <laughs> like they look like IKEA bags. I don't know what else I can say about it. Um, and for me to spend, I think they are like almost a thousand euros. For me to spend almost a thousand euros on like a IKEA bag. No, thank you. I am um, no. Hi lovely people, welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here and listening. Today we are talking about raffia, rattan, straw bags, wicker bags, all of the bags uh, for this summer that are so hugely popular. I am not on social media that much. I don't have like Instagram or anything like that. I usually get my social media updates from YouTube. Um, that's like my only place of social media really. So but as I understand it, they're very, 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 very popular. I see like new versions of store bags coming out on different, uh, from different luxury bags or from different luxury brands, sorry, all the time. Uh, particularly in my mind, it's Loewe, but I've also seen some from like Saint Laurent and stuff like that. So today I will be going through uh, very quickly the material that I'm talking about um, and then some really nice bags for summer that I can recommend. I haven't, I don't have any of these bags, I will just say that. Um, I, I wish I did. <laughs> and there are definitely some of them that are on my wish list, um, but they, I just haven't pulled the trigger just yet. So, um, but just, yeah, just my favorite ones that I think are good to go for. When it personally, personally, when it comes to straw bags, I don't think you should spend a huge amount of money on it because I mean, the material is beautiful and it's quite, it's actually quite uh, substantial and it does, it does hold pretty well. I will say that when I look at um, these types of bags, raffia bags or rattan bags or store bags online, I do usually see at least some type of wear and tear when it comes on the secondhand market. Um, if that is due to like how it's weave and the weave has come up on some some places, I think that can be one of the causes of the wear and tear. But just so you know that usually when there, there will be wear and tear, so I don't think they should spend like a huge amount of money on it. Of course, it's the same with leather. There can always be wear and tear on the leather. There are different types of leather. There are different types of weave <laughs> when it comes to raffia and rattan and straw bags. So there will be different types of wear and tear, but uh, yeah, just my personal opinion is not to spend too much money on it. I know the Hermes Kelly in the Wicked Hermes, um, no, Wick, <laughs> Wicked Hermes Kelly um, is, is hugely popular at the moment. I think that's just an insane amount of money to spend on a this type of sovereign bag, but uh, just my opinion, you know? When it comes to the materials, um, so, Wicker is the method that is used to weave different types of materials. So these materials can be something like uh, rattan, it can be something like uh, bamboo or synthetic fibers. It's just the type of weaving that is used. And then one type of weaving that is very common and very popular is the Viennese braiding, which is mostly seen on uh, cane furniture. So like on mostly on furniture. I have never seen this on a handbag. I would love to see this in a handbag, actually. I think that would be really interesting and fun. But the weave, if you've ever touched that Viennese braiding, you know that it's quite stiff. So it would be like a stiff, see-through kind of bag, but I think it would look really nice. So maybe in the future we'll have that. When it comes to rattan and raffia, they're both from palm leaves. As I understand it, there is some difference in how they are extracted from the palm um, and also some different palms are used in this type of process. And then when it comes to straw, straw is a byproduct from the production of cereal. So that's really where that comes from. Um, so now you have a little bit more of a, yeah, a little bit more knowledge, <laughs> maybe, um, on the material. So let's just start with, uh, let's just start with my favorite ones, yeah. So you cannot talk about these type of bags without without talking about Loewe. And if you are a regular, by the way, my name is Amanda and I make videos every Thursday and Sunday on like luxury Nordic items. So, but if you are a regular, you will know that I am a huge fan of Loewe. And 
you know, the Lueve basket bag, I know that is so, so popular among so many people. And I have had that on my wish list for years, I cannot tell you. I'm sort of thinking, should I go for it? If you have this bag, please let me know. Like, is it worth going for it? Or should I go for something that is a bit more packable? Because what I realized with my normal bas basket bag is that I find it quite annoying to travel with and mostly I would use it when I travel um, of course sometimes like at home as well but a lot of times when I travel and then because you cannot like push it together you cannot squeeze it it's it's quite annoying to use so that's just my worry about the basket bag that would be a bit annoying uh, but if I were to buy it I would definitely try to get it in like the spirited way version because I just I just love that version. I will put up a picture here for you to see it. Uh, so I'll go like on the second hand market. Also quite like the ones with the braiding on the uh, on the top handle. But if you have this bag, please let me know. H how has it worn? Do you find it annoying to use or not? Other versions from Lueve that I am really thinking about is this type of pochette bag. I will insert pictures for you here so you can see. Uh, I think this is a really really beautiful one you can like easily pack this together and it doesn't cost that much money either and i know i've seen is she called lydia tomlinson on the on youtube on the internet <laughs> on youtube wearing this bag quite a lot and for her it really really works um and i think she's about the same height as me which is like 170 i think so because she looks like she's quite tall um but I just think that's a really good, nice bag to go for. Obviously quite a lot smaller. I know that Loewe has also come up with some new uh, basket bags or um, maybe raffia bags rather, I would say, for this summer with the Loewe logo on the front. What do you guys think about this one? Because personally, I'm not a huge fan of when they do this type of texted out logo, like when they do like Loewe, Celine, Chanel, whatever. I, I'm i not a huge fan of that, so this isn't a bag that I would personally go for. It's the same with the different, they have also bigger baskets bags, which are, which are foldable. And if they had a different look to them, I might have gone for that one. But they have these straps where it says Lueve on it, quite clearly. And I think that they look like IKEA bags. <laughs> like they look like IKEA bags. I don't know. What else I can say about it? Um, and for me to spend, I think they are like almost a thousand euros. For me to spend almost a thousand euros on like a Kia bag, no, thank you. I am um, no. Uh, so there are different versions that are nice. I mean, personally, I also really love the elephant bags and like the, like the animal basket bags. They have one which is an elephant. I love that version. Uh, I am really, I saw once a one in like a flowery version and that one is really on my wish list but also this one uh, because I find them both quite beautiful um, but they also have one right, down, right now with the little bunny, I think that's so cute and they have one which is a fish and I I will not like, I will not lie <laughs> when I say that I like laughed for a solid 10 minutes first time I saw it because it just looks hilarious. I mean, like the mouth on this, <laughs> on this handbag is just, is amazingly funny. Um, and one from, um, I also showed some one from Chloe and I've actually seen this live and I think it, it does look cute. Again, this is the same type of thing with where they have spelled out Chloe and that's the only part I'm not hugely a fan of, but I, I, I prefer how they've done it in this bag. In One bag that that I know from Lueve is the type of long shoulder bag. Um, and you can also like wrap it up to have it around your wrist for some reason. I don't know who uses bags like around their wrist really. Um, I just think that's like, is that a thing? Is that, Do people do this? I've never seen anyone actually do this. I mean, maybe it looks cool, but it's not very practical, right? So, but this type of long bag. And then I was on Net Porte and I saw <laughs> this bag from Saint Lorraine, 
which I mean, does it remind you of something? Is this not like a really a copycat? I, I totally feel like this is a complete copycat of, of the Loewe bag. Um, but really, if, if you prefer Saint Laurent before Loewe, maybe this is a good one to go for if you really like that type of shape of bag. But Saint Laurent, I do think, have some other bags. They have one, I believe this is called the Kate style. I quite like this bag actually because I think the gold, the, the darker antique looking gold on the um, on the uh, metal, I think looks a bit nice uh, towards the raffia. My favorite one from Saint Laurent by far is the Manhattan bag. But here we are talking about a completely different price point. This one costs 2,400 euros. I still think that's a really nice looking handbag actually. Um, something I would totally go, go for myself. Um, when it comes to the style of the bag, I think it, it looks you know, it looks timeless, it looks nice, uh, but this type of raffia detail on it, I think it just, it really works for me actually. So that one was my favorite, but I felt like I had a budget and I exceeded that budget by quite a lot. And another bag where I exceeded the budget quite a lot was the Prada bag, and I'm talking about the re-edition bag. And here it's also in, in raffia and I think it looks nice. I like that it's quite versatile. You can have it crossbody, you can have it on the like one strap. Uh, you can work with this bag quite a bit. I like that. Um do am I in love am I in love with the bag? No. Um the bag costs 1,800 euros and I think that's just pushing it a little bit when it comes to uh, the bag. But personally I prefer this bag bag before other raffia bags from uh from prada because i just think that they have just put their logo on it um and i think that's a bit yeah as i said i think it's a bit lazy <laughs> so i'm not a huge fan, i'm not a huge fan of that i'm picky uh you know guys you have to be picky here another bag where i extend where i like yeah pushed the budget <laughs> for was the fendi Fendi first bag is that what it's called? I quite like this bag. I think it's it's like it's a really nice bag actually. I I like the design of it. I think it's a unique way of integrating your logo on a bag. Um, interesting way. So this one I really really like, and they have it in where like the straw sort of falls out on the bag, and you can, I guess give it a hairstyle before you go out because I think it can easily flatten uh, otherwise so you have to puff it up a bit but they also have the bag and I just forgot the name for it I have it here on my screen but I just forgot the name for it um but I will show you but this this is a shoulder bag and I think that one looks really cute actually and here I quite like how they have done the logo because they have done the logo as a as a design element of the bag um which i appreciate you know bags let's talk about the celine so the celine also has a basket bag quite like this one as well prefer the loero bag myself um but i think this one is also quite cute and i think pe less people have this bag prob probably but rather than the loero bag um again with the with the structure of this bag i just don't know if i would buy it or I would go for something else uh, but they also have the Ava bag and this one really reminds me of the Fendi one I talked about they have a similar type of structure they're both a shoulder carry and they're a similar price point this one costs 1,900 euros and the Fendi one was 2,100 euros so they're a similar price point um, and I think both are quite cute and the other bag, I believe, has been around for a little bit longer. And I know that right now they're coming out with different versions where the logo is more visible. So if you are a logo person, <laughs> I was going to say logo ho, but I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just know that some people use that type of saying. <laughs> so sorry. Um, but if you like logos, then, um, then I think maybe the new versions of the other is to, good to go for but if you prefer a little bit less logo 
then maybe, and you like the Fender bag, but you don't like the logo on the Fender bag, maybe then the other bag from Celine is something to go for. I quite like this bag personally. I think it looks really cute on, the, on, on your arm as well. And then I have a few more, which are a bit cheaperly, more cheaper price points. So one from Kult Gaia, and this is a clutch. I think this clutch is really, really beautiful. If you're going to a summer wedding, this is perfect. Like this is really something that can be used quite a lot. And I think this is something that you can have forever. Because... And then another brand, which I have been sort of yeah i've been thinking about buying something from there um and it's the it's apc and i know that they have the grace bag and they have is it also called the grace bag they have one which is shaped like a half moon and i think that one is really pretty and then we also have a switch brand and i really love the bags from this brand and it's called atp atelier and they have a little lower price point. So I didn't really find the euro. I think you can. I just didn't maybe look hard enough. Um, but they have a basket bag, which is around 400 euros, I think. Um, and then they also have a little small bag. And I think this one is so cute. I actually have a, maybe I will add it to my wish list because I actually think this is really cute. Um, and I think it costs like around 350 euros or 400 euros as well. So these ones I think are also quite, very quite cute and good to go for if you're looking for something that's a little bit lower price point. I know that at Atop Atelier are really, really popular in Sweden. That's a really popular bag uh, brand. But if you are abroad and you want something that looks cool, and maybe you can say, oh, it's a, it's a Swedish brand, you know, um, I think this is a great one to go for as well. And they, the quality of the bags are really nice. I personally don't love the, I have some issues with the leather because I know that the leather scratches. I can very easily tell that by how the bag look in the store, but then, you know, the raffia bags are a great option. So maybe that's something that I would go for personally. Uh, but if you don't mind leather scratches, then go for the leather bags, why not? You know, they have lots of cute colors and lots of, yeah, they, they're, they're nice bags, <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, so that's, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I know that it was a rambling one. Um, I realize that. <laughs> I am sorry. I'm still learning the whole YouTube thing. Uh, I just had one video which reached over 200 views. I'm like so excited about that. I think it's amazing. Um, so I'm really just, yeah, I'm really new to this. So hopefully you can leave some feedback. If there was something that you liked about this video, if there was something you didn't like about this video, that's completely fine for me. And uh, I would love to hear that as well because I would love to learn and improve. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>